as COVID-19 cases started to wind down. Ridership of the Guam Regional Transit Authority buses and vans have reportedly doubled. That's according to GRTA Executive Director Richard Ibanez. We needed more buses. It was about 4,000 4, 4, to 5,000. Now we have 8,000. And then paratransit was probably about 3,000. Now we're up to almost uh, 5,000. Mm -hmm. So it shows that uh, people utilize our transit system. In response, the company used $1.6 million from the Federal Transit Administration funds to buy 10 more buses. Ibana says the increase to its fleet would allow more efficient scheduling and pickups, as well as their supervisors being equipped to pick up passengers from their fixed and paratransit routes. He adds the new buses are also compliant with the Americans with Disabilities Act. Despite the increase in ridership, Ibanez admits there is still a high number of those in the community that do not use public transportation, citing the stigma around it. If you take the, the transit system, oh, you don't have a car, but we want to we let the public know that using the transit system can uh, alleviate traffic, uh, save you some gas, and of course, um, you know, when people want to get back on their feet uh, because they, you know, lost their job during the pandemic and they don't have a vehicle, we have a public transit system that goes, uh, you know, we, we run, our, we have uh, buses that are go around the island uh, with our bus stops in, in areas where they can get picked up. GRTA and its board members are working on a marketing strategy in hopes to entice more residents to use the public transit system. The ANC also plans on using more federal funding to build a new park and ride hub and bus facility in Dededo and Jigo, with plans to have six more buses and five 10-passenger vans, all ADA compliant through the Accelerated Innovative Mobility Program. No word yet how soon all that could become a reality. Julianne Hernandez, KUAM News.